Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Cruise League. And I just want to thank everybody once again for joining us today for the second pack day of the 2023 season. Um, in honor of the NFL season ending, I uh, just thought we should open some NFL packs today. And luckily for, luckily for us, we stopped at our local Target here and I managed to find us a couple blasters here of Absolute Football. I think this set just came out early at the end towards the end of last month uh, pretty much we're just kind of going for rookie cards and those kaboom cards here um, obviously you know autos would be nice as well also managed to find us a nice little hanger pack for a bonus uh, I do hope everybody enjoys this video and as always please like comment and subscribe below for more content um, leave a comment let me know let me know which rookies you think we're gonna go ahead and pack today and which one starred for your fantasy this season? I hope everybody had a wonderful fantasy year. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately for me, I actually lost in the playoffs this year, but I digress. Um, yeah, here we get here. I got all the packs open for you out of the boxes. Let's see um, what we can pack. Uh, like I said, uh, pretty much we're just going for some kaboom cards here, rookie cards. Um, do want to congratulate my New York football Giants for finally making the playoffs again. I know it's been a while since we lost to the Packers in that wild card game. Nothing you can do when uh, vintage Aaron Rodgers throwing Hail Marys out there. Uh, let's see what this first pack brings us today. Um, I know th this year had a lot of good rookies. It's, I think it's one of the one of the first few years in a while that I think the the rookie class, like the top top ten, do pretty well. So. Uh, personally, I would love to pack a Kayvon Thibodeau since I am a New York Giants fan, but yeah, man, uh, looks like got an Eckler here, he's fantasy superstar. I actually used to, back when uh, Melvin Gordon was still on the Chargers, I, I, I would hate when people drafted uh, Eckler on DraftKings and, you know, he just goes off. And first rookie here, we got a Jermaine Johnson, a uh, great defensive player for the Jets. Also got a oh Brian Robinson Jr. You know, uh, he actually had a cool story. Um, you know, God, God bless. He was able to um, you know recover from the from his from his incident. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but um, if you like if you like to know, just you can just go ahead and pull up his incident on on Google, and you know you'll you'll see his story. Great bounce back story, and nice. We got a Drake London. You know Drake London by Storm insert card, so it's funny. Uh, actually, actually, he he actually did take the take the league by storm, I guess, to start off the year, especially with uh, Marcus Mariota who and uh, you know Julio Jones leaving the Falcons, Calvin Ridley out. You know a lot of a lot of um a lot of pressure for him to step up and really be that that number one receiver from from day one. And you know he had a he had a good couple first games. I actually traded for him in fantasy. I think it was like the fourth week I traded for him. Got my my friend wouldn't let go of him. So, but you know I had high expectations. I've always been a Mariota fan, even though he's never been the most ultra productive in recent years. But you never know, man. Pretty productive for me, Drake London, and a lot of pretty much basically hit or miss this year. Hopefully, he does have a better sophomore season next year. I know I'll be drafting them for sure. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, don't. Actually, I haven't opened a football pack in a while. Yeah, Trey Lance. <laughs> oh, Hollywood Brown. That's you know he's actually in a Cardinals uniform here. Forgot he got traded. For, I forget he got traded from the the Ravens. He was always one of my go tos. But I guess it j just goes to show how good Lamar Jackson is. You know he lost his pretty much only receiver. In, here he is, um, contract year. I personally think he should leave the Ravens. Although, um, you know, I would love to see him in a New York Giants football uniform. Let's see, we got next rookies here. We got, uh, who's this? Ty Chandler. Another, let's see. David Olabo, Jabo. Oh, okay, Aiden Hutchinson. A nice, nice little dude, defensive player for the, the Lions. I'm sure he'll be a... He'll he'll be a big part of the reason why they're they're actually gonna make the playoffs now, keeping them in games. It's funny the the Lions. I think it was like what was it like two years ago? They, you know, typical typical NFL franchises. They 
like to go out and hire winning head coaches, um, what do you call, what do you call, coordinators, and they they actually hired um, the Lions actually hired um, Matt Patricia, their uh, the Belichick's defensive coordinator, and it's it's uh, ironic how um, you you hire a defensive minded coach and. <laughs> In those years, the the Lions were actually one of the worst defenses. Uh, to start this year, they they were still actually pretty bad. But I don't know. Look, look, their offense has just been keeping them in games, and they they've been winning shootouts. So I I do think the Packers will end up taking the take taking the taking uh that wild card spot just because you know they've always owned them. Here's looks like oh nice nice little. Sorry, I guess we'll get to them in just a second. Oh, we got here. Yeah, these football base cards. Oh, Jonathan Taylor burned bust for fantasy this year. Justin Jefferson. Wow, he can't say enough about how good of a receiver he is, man. That guy's he's insane, man. Some of the catches he be making, like they're um they're pretty 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 um pretty pretty nuts to watch, man. Oh, here's here's a nice little rookie card here. You got a Kenny Pickett for the you know hope. Steelers, I know Steeler fans are really excited about Pickett, hoping for him to be a uh, the successor to to Big Ben. I know um, it's kind of hard to see the Steelers not not in the playoff race or Super Bowl contenders in late years. That's another good rookie for me, right there, Jah Jahan Dotson, one of the first round wide receivers. So actually, yeah, he, he was actually having uh, he actually had a good first few weeks too. I think, he got, I think I'm pretty sure he caught a touchdown in the first, first three matches. And here's my pick for the defensive player of the year, even though he's a he's a cowboy. But I got got to give credit where credit is due, man. Michael Parsons, that guy's a <laughs> guy's a problem. <laughs> Let's just say that. But yeah, John Dotson. Uh, there's the box card here, <laughs> Green Russell Wilson. You know, it's in interesting. Um, I actually thought Russell Wilson would have a much better year on the Broncos, but I guess I guess he's just he just hasn't adjusted to that mile high. But also, I mean, his a lot of his receivers have been injured this year, so and you know, sometimes it takes 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 players a year or two to get to really get into to a new system, especially when he was with the with the Seahawks for so long. Derek Carr, you know, <laughs> not a Raider fan. Dak, uh, yeah, get him out of here. Brady, no. Cam Akers, man, they, they, this guy, man, cost me a cost me a week on DraftKings. Not because I had him, but my my opponent actually had the Cardinals defense, Cardinals defense, and uh, he. Uh, I remember Cam Cam Akers fumbled the ball at the at the at the goal line, and that was enough for him to to beat me to beat me literally by 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 less than one point, man. So let's see. See what rookie cards we got here. Looks like we got uh, some Niners here. Davis, David Price, the Chiefs, Chiefs player here. Okay, Damian Pierce. You know, shout out to my uh, the, the, this. I know my 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 uncle's really high on this guy. Uh, yeah, he had a slow start to the year, but really really started picking it up. And you know, I think he's gonna be a he's gonna be a key player for the the Texans offense. Moving forward, and what is this? We got a nice little insert here. Draft diamonds. Okay, Marquez Colston. Let's go ahead and uh, sleeve up this Amian Pierce here. But yeah, man, I think Damian Pierce got got a lot, a lot of got a bright future for sure. Um, again, the, this rookie class actually had a lot of um, a lot of hits, a lot of hits this year. See well, what other good rookies are out there. I think uh, the, you know the the receivers are actually the probably the better the the best ones, man. The the receiver for the Saints, Olave, that that guy, just, Michael Thomas went down, and wow. Oh man, he just had some monster games this year. Uh, who who else? The who did the pack? I mean, well, when it comes to the Packers, you know, pretty much anybody Aaron Rodgers throws to is gonna be up. Uh, you know, you're gonna put up great numbers. So, uh, I believe they drafted a Christian Watson this year, and uh, they, they were Romeo D Romeo Dobbs, Romeo Dobbs, or however you pronounce it. Trevor Lawrence, 
better sophomore season. Uh, Darnell Mooney here. That guy. Oh, this one of my favorites here. Devontae Smith, man. What a baller. Stud. I got ourselves a nothing special here. And oh, Jamar Chase, man. This this guy's this guy and Jefferson, man. They they're just fun to watch. But also, I mean, I when you have that, when you got your your college buddy throwing to you, sometimes I do feel like 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 Burrow's just gonna force feed it to to, to Chase, make sure he, you know, it's just brotherly love. But that's not not to take away of how much of a baller he is. Although T Higgins is T Higgins is so underrated. And we got another rookie here, Garrett Wilson by Storm. So just like the. Just like our Drake London, man. Again, man, the the receivers this year really, really they they really did hit. I I can't really I can't really name which I can't really come up with a single one that that I would say is a bust off the top of my head, at least from the first two rounds. But yeah, Garrett Wilson, man, the New York Jets. They 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 just they they kind of just need a a better quarterback. I mean, they they completely missed on Zach Wilson, unfortunately. But it's it's I mean, it's just uh. It's, testimony to how good uh some of these rookies are i mean what is it what's the running back i think the running back um Brees hall but him and uh garrett wilson big 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 reasons why why the jets were have been staying in games lately so um they the jets do have uh, another rookie actually he's a I he's a sauce gardener man that guy that that guy's a i get as advertised bro Putting up a having a great rookie year on defense. Let's see here, we got the hood. You know, Josh Jacobs underrated. J.K. Dobbins not the same after the injury. Um, he's just not as explosive. Let's see our what rookie cards we have in this pack. Okay, Isaiah Likely from the Ravens, another good, another decent player. I think um, I think he'll he'll. I think during the during the playoffs, I think he'll make a bigger impact. We have a uh, Malik Willis quarterback, tight ends. Uh, speaking of the tight ends, um, I I do want to see what happens with uh, Ryan Tannehill. I I think they should keep him, man. Ryan Tannehill. He's always been a. Uh, he's always been. He's always he's always been a a winner, I guess. If you want to say that, like, even with the Dolphins, you know, he, he might not he might not get the biggest um notoriety, but he he's he's pretty solid, and I think um a lot of people put some respect on his name when he, you know, when he took the Titans to the playoffs. So unfortunately, they didn't they didn't make it as they didn't make it as far as they wanted to, but still nice to see. Good for good for Tynahill. I wouldn't mind having Tannehill on the Giants. He's just a little injury prone. Leonard Fournette, man, my go-to running back. Aaron Donald, can't say enough about him. Ah, Mitch Trubisky, it's a complete bust. And here we have the man, the probably top free agent of the year here, Lamar Jackson. Let's see what we got our rookies. Got some Bengal rookies here. Oh, and we got, uh, is that who I think it is? That is Brees Hall. Nice, nice. A lot of potential moving forward. I think uh, I think when the I think the Jets get a better quarterback and that that offense is just that offense is just ready to explode. They have a they have really good pieces, man. They 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 hit. I think they hit on every single draft pick this year, honestly. Let's see what we got here, Traylon Burks. This was my that's who I was high on for sure this year going into this year. I think he was came into the year injured, but. Uh, so we got an and and it's an insert introductions, cool little and nice little insert for a rookie card. Um, pretty, I'm I'm kind of banking on him having a much better sophomore season. I think um, you know I I, I feel like he's still kind of recovering from his injury and should should have should live up to should live up to his um draft draft hype next year. Let's see. CD Lamb, I don't think he's a number one receiver. Plus, he's a cowboy, so can't, can't really, uh, can't, not nothing special to me. Oh, Justin Herbert, man, this guy's a stud. 
Let's see what kind of rookies we got here. And looks like we got another insert in the back. Um, what do we have? Let's see here. Isaiah Spiller for the Chargers. I don't think he'll be doing much with as long as Eckler is still is explosive. Nice little green Donald here. And, oh, nice. We got a Tom Brady draft diamonds. You know, I think I actually think this this is probably like one of the better inserts for, for Tom Brady. I mean, <laughs> there was any better way to describe him, a draft diamond. It's a nice looking, great looking car. They even, and they have him in his paint and his Pats uniform, which is pretty cool. Even though he's been a buck now for about two, two years. So, nice little insert. Sorry, excuse my sleeving, but. But yeah, it's a nice little insert. Draft diamonds. Not the not the inserts we're looking, not not exactly what we're looking for here. Remember we're trying to get those kaboom cards. Those are always um those are always the ones to to pull from these. Other than the mainly the rookie cards and you know, you just get those nice little prom nice little special cards. But Nonetheless, draft diamond Tom Brady, <laughs> probably the biggest diamond in the rough, <laughs> you could say. Rashad Perryman. Let's see. Oh my, this is my guy, man. I I know I know he I know he had an incident, but Deshaun Watson was a great fantasy guy for me. Another Eckler here, Amari Cooper, man, the man, most probably one of the most underrated receivers in the league here. And this guy just makes quarterbacks, bro. You know, there's. There's Aaron Rodgers throws receivers open. I, I feel like Amari Cooper, you know, he 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 makes quarterbacks look better, man. Like if 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 not for Amari Cooper, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Dak Prescott would not would not be uh would not be a cowboy anymore. De Desmond R Desmond Ritter for the Falcons, you know. I'm sure I'm sure he'll get his he'll get his moments on. There's a lot of um high hopes for um for Desmond over there in Atlanta. Plus, I mean, honestly, um, the the Falcon the Falcons have a lot of good weapons as well. I think, I know, um, I'm happy to see my boy Mariota doing doing good things over there. That that whole division is just up for grabs. But every year that division's always like I think those are some of the in terms of divisional divisional games to watch. If you ever if you ever just want to watch a good football game, watch those um. NFC South games, man. Those those games are always shootouts. Especially Saints Falcons, Saints Bucks, and uh Falcons, Falcons Bucks. Let's see rookies, and oh, it looks like we got one of the Green Bay rookies. Is this who I think it is? And it is Christian Watson, man. Yep. Started having uh started started living up to his, starting to live up to his um, draft hype. You know that's funny. I think I saw a play the other day where, <laughs> where he didn't see uh the sign Aaron Rodgers gave him, and I think Aaron Rodgers got mad at him. But nonetheless, they <laughs> they won the game. It's funny he said something about uh <laughs> the kid wants to catch touchdowns, man. He gotta be able to recognize the signs. <laughs> but nonetheless, man, Christian Watson, man, he, as long as Aaron Rodgers is there, man, he's he's gonna succeed. And see what we have here. Is this Trey Lyon? No. And another introduction, Sam Howell, not this for the Commanders, okay? Okay, let's see. You know, I think Car it's nice to see Carson Wentz getting a chance, and he had a had a nice couple games to start the year. I actually panic drafted him on my season login. You know, as soon as I saw his his new weapons he was working with, I wasn't surprised at all to see him succeed. But nonetheless, I guess um. He's just regressed. We got no more base cards here. You got a Mike Williams, always a Joe Burrow, the man here. Nick Bosa, man, I that guy's a that guy's a monster too. But I still I still I still got Michael Parsons taking Defensive Player of the Year. Let me know who you think who you think will take it between them in the comments. Have a nice little bet with one of my coworkers. So we'll 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 see. As for the rookies on this pack. We got a Chiefs rookie. Man, the names are hard to see through the camera sometimes. Wandale Robinson. Oh, man, I got 
got high hopes for him as well. Nice to see him have a good first first game. I think he caught a touchdown for us. Speaking of my oh nice got a what is it stargazing Joe Burrow. He's a star indeed, man. Kind of wish he was a New York Giant too. <laughs> and again, I'm I'm just being a fan here. Don't, don't mind me. And let's see what this last pack brings us here for the Blasters. Hopefully we can get that big kaboom. Bisky, another Lamar Jackson. Uh, another Jonathan Taylor. This can't go wrong with him. Daniel Jones. I wouldn't mind keeping him. But I would prefer to have a a better better name there. Oh, nice. We got Sauce Gardner. This guy's putting on a show for this year. I forgot what's what stat I saw, but I think he's got like um I think he's got like the most I forgot, I forgot what I forgot what defensive stat it was, but it's definitely li definitely living up to his to his top pick. Oh, oh, Saints rookie, not Olave though, but and the last call insert here, you got a Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk, another one of those um, receivers. He's not as not, not not as consistent as the Niners would hope him to be, but I mean, when the, the I mean, everybody knows that offense runs through Debo. And time for that hanger pack, man. Let's we're lucky enough to find one of these nice little 50, 50 Carters here. See what kind of rookies we get here. Maybe get something special out of the that hanger pack. All right, let's see what we got here. Gonna go through these base cards a little fast. Another Jamar Chase. Cordrell Patterson, my guy, Justin Herbert, nice. Base card, uh, nice. You know, I, I don't think I've seen the Saquon card. Did, did I miss Saquon? There's no way. No way I didn't. Oh, Cooper Cup. Kirk Cousins. There he is. Oh, speaking of which, nice. Love Saquon, man. We better make sure we don't let him go, man. He's by far best running back in the game here. Not a lot of people will argue Henry, but come on, man. That's, that's not even close. Rookies here. Looks like we got the other Green Bay rookie, Romeo. Nice. Oh, let's see what other rookies we have here. Any kaboom? No, no kabooms. All right. Some rookies we don't have. Jalen Tolbert. He had a nice couple games with the Cowboys. Kayvon, baby. Let's go. Man, is this guy good, man. I'm so glad we drafted him. Our whole defense has just been just as good as it's always been known for this year. That's a big reason why we're we're able to win games. You know, it's not so much that we're going to win a shootout, but our defense is good enough to to keep us within with within range to to win games like 22-17 and as long as as long as the defense shows up, man, we have a chance to win any game. So, oh, nice, got a Garrett Wilson, the regular regular rookie card, not the insert. Nice to have both. Although, I mean, he's not not a parallel or anything, but still a still nice. Rookie cards are always nice to have. Let's see, if we could get I don't know something like another Damian Pierce or something. Blue Josh Jacobs. Again, the the hanger packs guarantee five blues. Dalton Schultz. 
pretty reliable flex for me on fantasy. And we got a blue. Is this Traylon Burks? That is Traylon Burks. So again, not the not the insert. So got his insert and the and the rare the regular rookie card. So this one's blue. Hopefully, he does have a nice sophomore season. And got the stargazing. Is that Jamar Chase to go along with the stargazing Joe Burrow? And George Kittle draft diamond. That's another absolute draft diamond. Now, now with the Brock with, with the Purdy over there, starting to use Kittle again, like he's like a in the way the Chiefs like to use Kelsey. And I've always said, man, Travis Kelsey, even though he's labeled a tight end, man, that's that's their that's their number one wide receiver. And I think people finally started catching on to that trend the last couple of years. I always draft him, man, especially on DraftKings. As long as he's under 7,000, brother, you, draft, you just plug him in and let somebody else figure out the rest. You know, maybe I'll actually do some uh, DraftKings videos for you guys come uh, come MLB and, uh, and NFL season. So, again, guys, uh, well, it looks like, looks like we've opened up everything. Take a look at everything we have here. Nice little duo here, quarterback wide receiver duo. And uh, once again, guys, thanks again for watching. Thank you for all the love. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one.